Thomas Norton D. 1513, was an English poet and alchemist best known for his 1477 alchemical poem, The Ordinal of Alchemy. Biography <inaudible> 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 Thomas Norton was born to a merchant, mayor and sheriff of Bristol, called Walter Norton, Florida, 1392-1421. Thomas Norton was a member of the important Bristol merchant family of Norton. Norton is believed to have studied under one of the most prominent alchemists of his time, George Ripley, writing that he learned all the secrets of alchemy through his words. Norton is known to have studied alchemy in the service of King Edward IV, becoming a gentleman of Edward's privy chamber, passed at least 1466. Perhaps doing this to compensate for being partly cut out of his father's will. Norton begun the ordinal in 1477. Norton was rewarded with land confiscated from the rebels upon Edward IV's return from exile in 1471. On March 1479, Norton accused the incumbent mayor of Bristol of high treason, surrounding an argument concerning the legacy of his father as the mayor. Norton appealed to the king for support but was forced into silence. Norton died on 30 November 1513 Norton's great-grandson, Samuel Norton, also became an alchemist, writing of his great-grandfather in his work The Key of Alchemy. Topic: The Ordinal of Alchemy. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Content. The poem is composed of 3,102 lines of irregularly rhymed Middle English. In the beginning of the poem, Norton lambasts the naivete of others who have bastardized the ideas of the ancient masters of alchemy. He tells us to read his book multiple times to get the best out of it, hinting at the esoteric hiding of his name in how he describes that chonging of some one syllable may make this book unprofitable. He also gives us something of a biography, professing that he began his study of alchemy at a young age and learned the secrets of alchemy from the adept alchemist George Ripley. He describes that on two occasions he made an elixir of life, only for it to be stolen away from him by the greed of others, first from his valet, and the second time by a merchant's wife. Notably, the book contains several verses satirizing of certain alchemical or hermetic connections to the Middle English poet Geoffrey Chaucer, who had written a work satirizing alchemy. Inadvertently, this played a large part in the Renaissance idea of Chauchet being an alchemist, that was eventually revealed to be untrue. The book also contains the first supposed description of a dampers, describing Norton's construction of a furnace with no fewer than 60 temperatures it could attain at a single time. Topic: <laughs> Discovery of Norton's authorship. In 1617 Michael Mayer in his Symbola Aurei Mense, identifies Norton as such. Thomas Nortonus, of Bristol, master of the perfect art, as seen in two initial syllables of each chapter of the book, which describes this art well known, wrote English poems, very sharp, not yet published. Similarly, in 1652 Elias Ashmole in his Theatrum Chemicum Britannicum identifies Norton from the first word of the proem, and the inital letters of the six following chapters. We may collect the author's name and place of residence, for those letters, together with the first line of the seventh chapter, speak thus. 
Both of these men were drawing from the rather esoterically hidden message found in the ordinal, where, by connecting the syllables from the first lines of the first seven chapters of the book, a message is found. This message being, to maize nor ton of brise to, or as Mayer and Ashmole interpreted it, Thomas Norton of Bristol. Topic. Authorship controversy Norton was first identified as the author of the Ordinal in 1617 and has since become the widespread identification of the work's author. However in 1932, two scholars, M. Nierenstein and P. F. Chapman, criticized this identification which they named the mayer ashmole hypothesis. Under the grounds that, beyond the esoteric link drawn by Mayer and Ashmole, very little contemporary evidence seemed to link Norton to the ordinal. This criticism received little attention in its time and a 1957 article by historian J. Reedy roundly criticized the article, arguing conclusively in favor of the mayer ashmole hypothesis by citing various contemporary pieces of evidence that implied that Norton was a significant alchemist and very likely wrote the ordinal. Editions and legacy Norton's ordinal is reported to exist in 32 manuscripts. A very early and beautifully illuminated manuscript of the ordinal exists in the British Library made during Norton's lifetime and likely under his supervision, it contains many illustrations of alchemical processes and a portrait of Norton himself see above, Thomas Norton's ordinal became a very influential alchemical text in the 17th century, with its Latin translation in Michael Mayer's Trippus Aureus. It was reprinted in English as the premier text in Elias Ashmole's Theatrum Chemicum Britannicum, along with various engravings of illuminations from Ashmole's manuscript of the work see below, perhaps based on the British Library MS. <laughs> 